Hello everyone, welcome again in Angman YouTube channel. So we will continue our Wellflow playlist. And in today's topic, we are going to talk about gas lift design, or we will equip a well with gas lift. Okay, so this is the dashboard for the well with gas lift. You can see this is the picture, picture only for the separator, flow line, well head, and the well itself. And you can see the symbol of gas lift there, as well as the gas lift gas when it is mixed with the production fluid. All right. So to start, we go to general data. Of course, usually we can leave it blank. And well and flow, well type producer. And then here we select continuous gas lift. And then for flow type tubing, fluid type, let's say black oil and well orientation for vertical and deviated well, we select vertical. All right, and then flow correlation. Let's start with Hagedorn and Brown with well and riser L factor of one. Later on, you can adjust the L factor if you have let's say traverse data or flowing bottom hole pressure data, you know the fluid gradient, the flowing gradient, you can do you know, the tuning process by adjusting the flow correlation and L factor. Okay, but we will skip that part here. In this case, we just want to design the well rather than tuning the well or selecting the flow correlation and L factor based on the real data, the real surveillance data from existing well. Okay, so here we just build up or design a new well with gas leaf. All right, and then reference depth, we select well head. So the depth will be based on the well head, or you can also say that the well head depth is the zero depth, okay? And this is well type on show, fluid parameter, API gravity 37, and thus the specific gravity of 0 0.84, close to 0 0.84, gas specific gravity, for example, 0 0.7, water salinity, for example, 17,000. All right, PPM and water gravity, thus is 1.1 or 1.01. .01. Let's say we don't have inorganics, all right? And we can also calculate, here we have the PVT data calculator. Let's input the reservoir pressure, 625 PSI, and with reservoir temperature of 170. Let's say the GOR is 100 SCF per STB. We can simply click on this calculate button and we have the properties out. So we know, or we can estimate the bubble point pressure. We have the bubble point pressure of 493. And we have also the oil formation volume factor, oil viscosity, and then this is solution GOR, oil or gas formation volume factor, gas viscosity, and so on and so forth. And you can also show the plot Okay, here we have the plot. Okay, let's make room. Or yeah, we can we can skip it for now, but basically you can click on this to get the picture for gas viscosity and others. Like gas factor plot, all right? Okay, but yeah, it's not the main thing, right? So I think we can move on from this step to the reservoir section. Okay, if you change anything, you can click on yes for the saving or no. All right, so now we go into the reservoir layers data. Here we provide the data, for example, reservoir pressure to 625 PSI temperature and middle of 
perforation, 300 or 3,342. Water cut, let's say 40%, and uh, gas oil ratio 100 SCF per STB. IPR model, I want to create the IPR using Vogel equation, and thus usually the Vogel coefficient is 0 0.2. And now, in this case, I just want to manually input the productivity index. So I input 0 0.35, okay? Let's say I have a prior calculation before in, in another spreadsheet or in another you know, software and I get the productivity index of 0 0.35, I can directly input the value here. Or maybe to have a simple estimation, you just average the productivity index from adjacent producers the producers located quite close with this well, you can input it here. Okay, technically or practically speaking, you can do that as well. Okay, so let's say I already know that the productivity index is around this value. So I just simply input it here. And thus I get the absolute open flow of 139.3 stock time barrel. Okay. You might say that why the, the absolute open flow, the maximum flow rate, it's it's too low. Okay, correct. Let's say this is a tight reservoir, and thus we, for example, require fracturing, and then we design the fracture, and from the the fracture dimension, we can, you know, we can estimate, or we can calculate the productivity index, and we can simply input the PI, the productivity index here, okay? And thus we generate the IPR curve. It will be like this, okay? And for relative permeability, we can leave it as per default as it is, all right? Practically speaking, we can leave it as it is, okay? But if you have the data for the relative permeability, we can also input it here. Okay, for simplicity, we will skip it. We will leave it as it is. All right. And then let's go to well bore section. First is the deviation. So you get the measured depth and true vertical depth. You ask the drilling engineer, the completion engineer. You get the value. You input it here. So clearly we have a deviated well with final inclination of 46 degree. Okay, and you can also change it. If you have the data for MD, the measured depth and angle, you can switch it here or TVD versus angle, input it here. And you can update the plot if you have any change. Okay, and then equipment, tubing, let's say from zero depth down to 3,280. You get the value for external or outer diameter, internal diameter, roughness, and drift diameter, if any. And casing down to 3,400 with OD or external diameter of 7 inches. This is the internal diameter, absolute roughness, and drift diameter. So it's, it's basic. You can watch my previous videos in Wellflow playlist. They are all about, or they are all the same like this. It's very basic and quite simple. Surface temperature here. I used manual input, the surface temperature, and the sand phase, or the bottom hole temperature. Okay, and this is the main thing here, the gas lift data or gas lift parameters. 